Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm playing with some China stuff again. Uh, yes, this is a sponsored video. I got these two multimeters here from Kai Wietz. Never heard of that brand, but they wrote me an email and asked me if I wanted two multimeters for free. And yes, I got them. And here they are. And just in case if you hear some music in this video, we actually have a big city festival here and the stage is right in front of my house. So if we are lucky, we get some good music during the video. I don't know when they start, they just made their sound check. Okay, and show it. All right, I have two different models, the model KM601S and the KM602. And as you can see, the 602 is smaller than the 601S, but, well, be it so. Let's start with the bigger one. It comes in a nice carrying case. I haven't opened that yet. So we have probes. Let me see if they are good or not. Well, they are. I think they are okay. Can we? Yes, we can remove that. That is cool. May not be the best quality, but. They are certainly not bad. I have seen much worse probes in my life. Oh, they even come with a protective cap here. Oops. Okay. Good. That's not bad. What else do we have? We have an USB charger cable. Yes, this is uh, it has a, a built-in uh, lithium battery. And we got, oh, looks like a temperature probe, measuring temperatures. Okay, a simple one, but I have never seen a temperature probe as a free gift to a, a multimeter. Okay, this one already falls apart, but that's not a problem. It's screwed, okay. And we have that multimeter. Looks a little bit like a smartphone. In fact, that one looks even more like a smartphone because it doesn't have any buttons on the front. This one has buttons on the front. So let's turn it on. Okay. It has an auto feature, volts, ohms and continuity so it's scanning up and down finding trying to find what it can do and i guess yes here we can select that manually it has diode test capacitors millivolt hertz uh, temperature i guess i have to put that here Okay, 22. The other te uh, thermometer says 24. Does it go up? Yes, okay. So it measures, measures something. I don't know how accurate it is, but yeah, it's possible. And if you unplug it, it seems to have an internal sensor measuring the same value. Okay, there is also a protective film. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks already a bit better. So, what else do we have? Oh, we have a light. And we have a light button. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. May not be the brightest light, but 
it's certainly better than no light. Okay, pretty focused on this on the spot, so you can find the point for where you want to measure. And it turns off again. Minimum, maximum, hold. Okay, so let's try some voltage. Oh, they are blinking. Wait, give me a little bit less light. So let's do that again. Ohm. Oh, it tells you which uh, probes or which uh, connectors you need. So it's always these two. Is there another setting? No. Oh. What is that? Oh, okay, that is non-contact um, measurement. Oh, here, now. Yes, milliamps, of course, and amps. So, you can't do that wrong. Okay, and we are back to auto. Volt, okay. That's the power button, that's the charge input. Everything else? No, 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 no. Oh, we have a stand. Okay, stands here. Well, the display gets a bit dark from that angle, but if it's flat on the table, it's not even bad. It's bright, it's sharp. Yeah, it, it goes, it fades a little bit, but who looks at the multimeter from this angle? Okay, so let's see what's the difference to that multimeter. Comes in a similar case, but of course a little bit smaller. We have the same accessories as it seems. Probes, charger cable, temperature probe and Oops, a small multimeter. Okay, power, charger. Oh, they have the select and the fun. Oh, they have the four buttons. These four buttons they have on the side. And we have that. The connectors are not marked. Okay, maybe that changes when we turn it on. Okay, now we see where the cables should go. So, function. Yes, displays that. Volt, hertz, capacity, diode. Oh, this one shows only 18 degrees, so it's definitely not 18 degrees in here. How much is it? If I plug this in, mm -hmm. yeah, it goes up. Mm, well, I don't trust that exactly. So it's definitely, uh, it's probably 24, 25 degrees in here. So this one says 19 and it was in this room for the whole day. So uh, it's, it's probably a bit low. Okay. Is there anything I can do against it? Minimum, maximum? No. We also do have a light, which is a little bit brighter than the big one. Okay. Yes. Function, okay. Don't measure voltage when you plug the um, the probes to the amps connector. Of course, yeah, that's. And we have NCU non-contact. Uh, oh, or NCV. Maybe that's a volt voltage. Okay. So as far as I know. NC voltage works. We are only the plus pin. So 
So let me see if that actually works. No. No. Okay. No. Hmm. Or do I? Maybe I have the wrong one. No input. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should read the manual again. But you know what? Let's have a look inside. So let's check out the smaller one. I guess they are relatively similar inside. We got four screws and the fifth screw here. That's certainly what the uh, yes, where the fuse is. Okay, we have a fuse. That's good. One, two, three, four. Pretty good. Okay, that's the battery compartment and it also has screws, so we actually are able to replace the battery. And that is connected like that. Okay, that's pretty good. What do we have? We have a PTC here, we have a a shunt resistor here, we have a fuse, we have a couple of resistors, but well, not much about protection, input protection, over voltage protection. That's standard resistor, little relay, that's what clicked when you go from amps to volts and vice versa. Yeah, let's say the the analog input part here is pretty simple. Just a bunch of dividing resistors and stuff. And yeah, probably that NTC is a little bit the protection. I don't hope they use that for the temperature measurement. So that would be pretty unreliable. Let's see what the big one says. Oh, the big one has an integrated rubber protector so we can open that directly this one actually has five screws or maybe that's only a cover here oh yes and we have two fuses okay maybe it's for a higher amp range okay how we can how can we get that apart yep. is there an additional screw maybe behind that sticker no no everything is out let me figure that out for a moment. Okay, I figured it out. You have to remove the fuses and then it goes off pretty easy. Same battery, same battery connector. And the same non-existing protection circuit. A little bit of bigger relay. Maybe it's made for more amps. I can see that here, maybe I should actually look. There are a lot of screws around here, so they want this thing uh, to keep together. Okay, amps, milliamps, common voltage. Well, I don't think there are a lot of components underneath the board, so yeah, that's what you get. 
Uh, the prices for this, the regular prices are about $45 or Swiss francs or euros, depending where you buy it. It's, it's always about the same. And yeah, I, I like the size of this one, even if the temperature range may not be too good, but uh, uh, well, I admit I already tested it before and voltage, resistance, everything works and for $45 you can't say that's bad. Okay, that's a short video with a little bit of music. Thanks for watching.